What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Thursday. We are doing a Thursday roundup of what's new today. And there's a couple of things to get into, right? Firstly, we don't have any... Listen, the cards at the moment, man, not to get it off on a negative foot, but the cards at the moment are going to continue to be released, right? We do have this new trailer, which is going to showcase a couple of things. They talk about updated graphics, and they talk about upgraded movements of the graphics in terms of how the game actually looks now. Not the movement of the graphics that they're like screen tearing or anything, but uh, just kind of like the player models and stuff seem to have been slightly buffed. Um, we'll see how it looks like in the game there, and we'll see how it actually goes. Um, but they also have this pack that they're going to be talking about. I think they're kind of starting to ramp up the eFootball 2025 uh, kind of plans or schedule now. Um, and you can see a couple of new animations that they're using with the trailers as well, such as like that first person view kind of ball in. So a couple of different bits and pieces now that I think they're probably teasing and testing for eFootball 2025. But again, I mean, that's a lot of the time adding two and two and, and, and getting five really just so that we hope that they are working on some stuff. But these J-League players here that you see, um, there's, you know, there's a few of these guys. I, I, I think that they've... I think they've, they're on to something with the J-League players and that every player, I think with like that chemistry type aspect and trait of their cards, that all the players get a boost, the more J-League players you have in your squad. I think they could definitely expand that out a little bit more um, into eFootball 2025. There's another first person view, uh, kind of like, that's just one thing I noticed in the trailer, that first person kind of view uh, look, that they seem to be going for more cinematic approach with the trailers now it's just a tiny thing listen it's a tiny thing but they're the breadcrumbs that you have to pick up on i'm trying to cover everything for you guys you see it here again right um i haven't seen this trailer but i'd say that they will repeat that pattern again and um, where the camera angles are just slightly different and that's probably to, you know to go in with more close-ups and stuff like that but those are the show times there that you see they all have their own boosters and obviously they're going to be upgraded and that goes to the 4th of July. Now the rest of the cards that are on display are still the same apart from the player of the week. We'll get into that in a second. King of the Continent Volume 1 is going on until next Thursday. So Thursday the 4th of July, uh, that is when it's going on. Now, International Milan 66 and International Milan, uh, there's two here. Um, you'll see these two kits that have been added to your inbox. And we want to talk about a couple of bits and pieces as well. We also get a couple of avatars as well, or one avatar uh, there and another avatar there. Barella with an avatar. Uh, there's a couple of different things going on here. And I reckon that is because obviously there is data changes. So this is probably the first confirmation of eFootball 2025 stuff that we have. Emblems and strips of the following clubs have been reverted to default custom non-licensed, right? So, Konami have actually, with eFootball 2024 from today, AS Roma, Napoli, and AC Monza are going to be losing their badge, their kits, their licensed uh, stuff, and obviously the stadiums if they were there as well. So it says that emblems and strips of the following clubs have been replaced with original designs. Um, Inter Milan is still there. There is a couple of bits and pieces there that we need to probably cover as well. Um, they also discovered this issue with the badge, that people weren't getting this badge, weren't able to get the, the related badge. Um, I had that issue myself. The rest of the stuff here, they're all in your inbox, right? So this kid here, um, you can just receive this. It is from the 66-67 season, so they're probably going to do some more classic kits. Listen, lads, every time that they do something, it's to test it out, right? They're getting data as to how many people are, you know, using this kit in games. So it's like, okay, we'll give another kit or we'll make an E-points or whatever. Um, I honestly don't know why they're not making this stuff into eFootball points. Even if they made kits, people would have spent five, ten thousand 10,000 E-points on it because there's nothing else to spend it on. The rest of the stuff is just your login bonus there. And then, of course, obviously, it's all going to be about the rest of the events and the... Uh, contracts and the cards, right? Again, we have a new in, a new kind of um, event here that's going to be team play fun. That is back versus the co-op versus the PvP. And you also have it against the AI, so you'll be able to complete those objectives. You also have national teams. You also have gold and goal. And, of course, you have the Spanish clubs and the European clubs has been ongoing. Same with the AI. Beat the clock. Introduce the AI where you will, AI event where you'll be aiming to score a goal within the end indicated time. So we know what that's about. You just score the goal as quick as you possibly can. AI versus the event, uh, or the AI event versus um, co-op with co-op, national team, Spanish clubs, and of course, that is going to give you your player of the week and another player of the week. So you have two player of the week spins there. So listen, I think that they're trying to ramp up things. Obviously, um, they're not going to make any major changes until eFootball 2025. That just goes and stands to reason. The rest of the objectives here, they have added one or two things, uh, obviously, but they're still ongoing. So they've added just a couple of these back again. 
um, with objectives depending on how many of these that you uh, you have unlocked. And also with the weekly ones, they're just still the same as normal. Um, but I do feel for eFootball 2025 that they will probably change a lot of that stuff. Now onto the cards, right? We are going to talk about the cards. We've already covered the pack there with the J League pack. This isn't a bad pack at all as this guy as visionary pass. There is a pack of 100 there as well. It's not a bad card. I mean, a boost to all his stats when you have maximum uh, effects reached with 20 players or more in the squad. So I could see them doing this for the Premier League as well. If you had 20 Premier League players or you had a hybrid squad between La Liga and Premier League or whatever, they could do this very easily and have it as a competition that you play with these cards. It would be quite fun. I'll get into if you guys want to see a full time, you know, train and review full guide on these cards. Let me know. Um, we also have a couple of others to go through, but nothing really here. I, I think that they're kind of holding back a lot of the legends now, um, like even the ones that they added, like Van Basten and that. I feel like that they're holding them back because they still seem to have a lot of cards to like to put out, especially club edition cards, which I'm surprised with. Player of the season, League One, seems to be about three weeks, four weeks out of you know, out of it being relevant. So it is a bit strange. I do like the fact that we do have a nice pack with the player of the week. This is the League One player of the season. We'll probably get other leagues as well. We might get a Foden card then for English League, Premier League. But um, this is obviously licensed. The League One is licensed. So you've got Jonathan David. You've got Nab, uh, Dembele. Uh, you also have Danzo Fano. You've got a couple in here. But honestly, is it worth spinning 18 of these cards to get Dembele? Pro probably not. I mean, especially when you get him for free. Uh, with the French pack, or you can get in with the French pack, I should say, if you've been playing the game very recently. Uh, you can spin all of those. And then these packs here as well, there's only three players that you can get from this with 300 coins, but you can also get two free. So you can get five of the 11 here. Again, for every player in here that's going to be good, such as Rodriguez, and also Silva and De Bruyne and Alvarez, you're going to have, and Rabio's not bad, you're going to have probably about five or six that are not going to be worth it. Um, so yeah, again, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, listen, boys, let me know where you're at with the game right now at the moment. I mean, yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be one of these things, right, where I don't think we'll see proper, proper, like, big changes until eFootball 2025. Um, and I'm even talking about eFootball 2025, not at launch even. I'm talking about that it's going to take time to get through eFootball 2025 for the first couple of weeks. I think, obviously, they'll tweak the gameplay and stuff um, with eFootball 2025, and they'll have different updates and launches and different cards and all the transfers done and all that. Um, but, yeah, I definitely think that they need to improve, like, a lot of the content that's on display from the Monday to the Thursday. Um... It's not a big thing that they that they need to do, but it definitely does feature there. Now, also, a lot of people were asking me about um, whether or not, you know, a lot of these teams are going to stay gone. Uh, this is what happens when you have a base team that's not licensed anymore. So you can see here that one of the best kits before in the game were Roma. Um, they're now gone. So Roma, are, this is the generic kit from Roma um, that you can see here. You also have Monza, who is not going to be licensed anymore there um and napoli so napoli are another team that are not going to be so that's it so if you go choose napoli here um you're going to have that badge that you see there and you're also going to have these kits here so this is this is kind of something obviously that people will not like because you know hopefully this means that edit mode is is going to be coming quite soon i'll have a video on that actually very soon but let me know your thoughts boys they are the generic kits from napoli i'll show you the rest of the kits in the live stream don't forget to catch us on the live stream today. We'll be kicking off in about an hour's time. It's going to be a banger, hopefully. We'll make the most of it um, and we'll celebrate some stuff. So, yeah, we will see you guys in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed for the stream later. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, lads, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.